she's putting all our, our, our cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Chelsea and I'm a third year middle school math teacher. Today's vlog is week three. Um, week in my life, day in my life, all the things that are happening in my teacher life this week. Um, this week is going to be crazy. This week, again, it's the third week back. Uh, one of my classes, my college prep class is taking their first test this week. Um, it's back to school night week. I have back to school night on Wednesday. My girls are cheering at a game on Friday night. Um, there's just a lot happening this week. So, um, I'm gonna get started. This morning, it's 8.06 right now. This morning, I have a couple of things to do. I actually changed my plan and my idea for today and honestly for how I'm gonna go about teaching. I um, really did not want to use the workbooks in my classroom. I just don't like it. I don't like workbook teaching. I, it just doesn't follow my like my methods of teaching or my beliefs on teaching. So I kind of had that talk with myself this week or this weekend and decided that that's not what I'm gonna do. So I did come up with a backup plan, which I will go into way more detail about what is happening later. Hi. Okay, so it is now my lunch and I am very hungry. I'm gonna eat my lunch in a second, but I'm gonna give you an update on how today is going. It's actually going really well. My first period, I don't know what it is about your first period. Your first period is just always like your guinea pig period though, because I did not get to everything that I wanted to get to today in my first period. So we might have to do a little bit of it again tomorrow, if not on Wednesday, because I think tomorrow they're gonna take their math, their math quiz. But second period went great. And then my third and fourth period, my college prep classes started on third period. Um, but it went really well. They're just taking their quiz today and I had extra stuff planned if they got done with their quiz, but I didn't know if they would or not. So they're just taking their quiz and that's pretty much it. So I'm pretty much not doing anything for the rest of the day, which is cool. Um, but I told you this morning that I wanted to change up how I was doing things in my classes. So I decided that they were just gonna take their workbooks home and leave them there and use them as a reference book. So like if they want extra practice at home or if their parents like, hey, you need to do some math homework, even if I didn't, I don't assign math homework, but I know a lot of parents are like, hey, you need to go and do some math work. They have their book at home that they can do that. If I need them to do some, I think I might have an ear infection because like I can't hear anything out of this ear and there's like a lot of pressure. So I might have to go get checked out because my best friend has an ear infection and I wonder if I have an ear infection too. Anyway, I didn't like last week when I had them just be like copying stuff out of their workbook, like going through the workbook. I just don't like that teaching. I'm a guided teacher or I prefer guided instruction and it just doesn't allow me to do it the way that I like to do it. So I'm still going to be utilizing the book, like my book, I'm gonna, you know, if we're on 1.1, then I'm gonna go through lesson 1.1. Okay, what do they need to know? This is what they need to know, great. And then like, I'm still teaching the same lessons, but I prefer to do it more hands-on. And I also prefer for them to be able to have like real world, like experiences. Like right now in my honors class, they have to create proportions. Okay, well like physically create one, like physically do it. So they got out a bunch of stuff, I actually made this worksheet. Um, so I gave them instructions. They're finding equations. So they watched a Khan Academy video that uh, just kind of like briefly showed them how to do it. And then I did a practice problem up on my whiteboards and then they have this. So like counting cubes, counters and uh, geo shapes. So I just got out my manipulatives and I was like, okay, create. I don't think I have it over here still. But I like got like four uh, black cubes and two brown cubes and I was like what's the proportion of brown to black and then I kept like changing it and I would like make them larger proportions and I would have them tell me the relationship and then they put it in their table so they were physically seeing it happen and then they were writing the equation for the table so yes it's like a lot of people will be like oh they don't need that like they could just write it some kids like need to see it 
in order to do it. Some kids don't need to see it and that was fine, um, but they liked being able to play. I don't, I just prefer that. And I think that that is better for the way that I wanna teach and what I wanna teach because yeah, it's gonna be more guided. It's gonna be more hands-on. The other thing, if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I did an experiment because I have, you know, my front boards are white, are chalkboards and I don't like it. There's nowhere for me to like, I, we have to display our um, objectives and our standards for the day. And I haven't been doing that because I desperately do not want to use chalk to write on my chalkboard and do that. So I haven't been doing that and I don't like not doing that. Um, and also like I have to do it. So if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I had an experiment where I tried to see if better than paper could, like if I could write on that with chalk or with chalk, with a dry erase marker and if it would erase and it did. And then I cut a little piece of it um, and then I like put a bunch of different colors on it and left it over the weekend to see if it would erase today and it erased and not all of it came off. So I just used the like, um, expo spray and it came right off and it was totally fine. It wasn't sticky or weird or like it didn't stain or anything like that. So I'm going to be making like fake whiteboards and I have extra border as well. So it won't like look weird. Um, so that's what I'm going to be working on today. Uh, during my lunch. So I'm going to eat my lunch and also be working on that. And I'm so excited. So, hi. Um, I was about to say good morning, but it's no longer morning. Today is Tuesday. And I realized after I got home that I never finished vlogging with you guys because on my prep, I had to talk to my athletic director um, about some cheer stuff. And by the time I got back here, I had like five minutes left in my prep. So that didn't happen. Um, and I'm also probably not going to be able to talk to you on today's prep because I'm covering two classes today because we have so many people out. It's been a crazy, like, morning. Like, it's been all over the place. Um, I am still not in a flow. Like, today is just kind of still all over the place. I think that it'll get better next test or next, like, when I start the next unit, so, like, next week. I think it'll be better because I'll be in more of a routine and more of a, like, this is what we do every day. Um, because right now it's just like super all over the place and it's just not like, it's not helping me at all, but I'm going to go ahead and, um, I need to show you guys something. Um, actually I'm going to show you two things. I need to go erase my desk because my kids were, uh, in this last class, I had two like light bulb moments. Like one kid like literally looked up and was like, Oh, that's it. Like had that happen twice. It was great. Um, but we were like working on simplifying fractions because they need to be able to do that um, for percents and everything like that. And um, I was like walking around my room like dancing as they were working on it. And they like kept saying like, I can't do it. I don't know what I'm doing or I feel so stupid. And so I was just like writing notes on their desk and uh, whiteboard marker. And they were like, is this going to come off? And I was like, yes. And then in the back of my head, I was like, or at least I hope so. Um, so I need to go erase those. Um, and just kind of pick up the dust and I also need to spray them down. But um, I also need to show you my front board. So um, that experiment that I did, I told you guys about yesterday with the better than paper. Um, I went ahead and put it up. And so now it looks like I have a little mini whiteboard up on my board. And I still need to do the other side. I don't know what I want to do with that side. I don't think it's going to be a whiteboard. I think it's going to be like the birthdays of the month but I need to actually like go through and figure out everybody's birthday for the month. And that is like a, that's taking me to task for sure. But yeah, <sighs> sorry, I just lost my train of thought and now I don't know what I'm saying. But other than that, it's been a pretty good, like it's been a good day. It's just been like all over the place. So I have two more classes and then I'm covering for two teachers. And the only reason why I'm doing two at a time is because they're both really small classes. So and I don't want my eighth period people to be hit too hard because we have a couple of teachers that are out that normally would have eighth period. So there's less people to split to. So I just feel kind of bad. So I'm taking both of those. Um, and then we have cheer practice tonight. But I think that my lunch right now, I'm going to go ahead and um, I need to make a to-do list of things that I need to get done. So let's actually make the to-do list together and I just do it on my like desk whiteboard. 
here's what I need to do today. I also need to set up like a morning routine and an end of eighth period routine because there's stuff that I'm forgetting to do every day. And now that goes over here. Okay, so I have 20 minutes left of lunch. I think I'm gonna grade some quizzes and kind of get that out of the way. So I'm gonna start with my college prep. These are not in order, I don't think, which is gonna be really annoying. Uh, well, they are in order. I just don't know who, what is what. So I'm gonna get some grading in. And then I'll probably eat lunch here in a second too, but I'm gonna get some grading done and then I've got 20 minutes. Let's see how many I can get through in 20 minutes. Uh, Wednesday it is currently my lunch right now and I'm not like overly hungry so I might just save it because I have to stay tonight anyway because today is back to school night so I will be staying after school and getting some stuff done and prepped for that but um, today we are going through their um, math quizzes that they took my college prep took theirs on Monday and my honors took theirs on uh, yesterday. So we're just going through it and like redoing it and everything like that. Tomorrow they're gonna do their study guide. I had originally planned on us going through their study guides today, but which their study guide is just a practice test and it becomes a study guide because I walk them through it and like remind them how to do it all. Um, because my college prep board is gonna take their test tomorrow and my honors is gonna take theirs on Friday, but I'm gonna put everybody's test um, to Friday and study guide day will be tomorrow so that we have time to go over the math probes today. So those are already done and prepped and printed though. So that was great. Um, so now I'm going to start planning for ne my next unit because after this week, we're going to start our next units on Monday. And this two weeks of going through content showed me like, I'm kind of glad that I didn't really have a good plan <laughs> because it showed me like how much I do need like a different plan than I've ever had before because these 45 minutes are killing me. So I'm going to try and figure it out. I know that um, my kids are going to, my kids need a lot more one-on-one -on -one time. I just don't have the time whole group to like go through it all and in depth in the way that everybody needs and get through everything. So I'm just trying to figure out the best method possible for going through that and doing that. So I'm gonna try and figure that out right now on my lunch and then start planning and working towards that so that I'm ready for next week. That way I can just have everything done and implemented and prepped or at least my original copies are prepped and like ready because I just need to get more organized. I'm not super organized and things just feel rushed and all over the place. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start planning for that and then I will catch you guys up once I kind of figure out what we're doing. So I actually thought that I would document this process that way you kind of understand how I'm going through this. Um, I just may not be able to like give you it all, like it might not all make sense until I show it to you. But first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in to my Google Drive and I'm going to look at the tests that are for the next unit. So I'm gonna start with college prep, just because college prep is a little bit easier to work with right now. Um, so I'm gonna go through college prep and I'm going to see what the test looks like because that will tell me the critical standards versus the supporting standards. Um, because you always want to teach more to the critical standards because they are critical. Um, the supporting standards can kind of just be like helpful. So their next college prep's next assignment or assessment is rates and ratios. So they're going to have to uh, determine the two quantities being 
compare it to price per bottle. They're gonna have to create a ratio from a word problem, part to part, part to whole. Now that I've done that, now I wanna go through and look at all of the things that they're gonna have to do in this next unit. So, I'm moving you because you guys slid um, when I had you over there. So for this unit, pretty much all of the lessons hit on the critical standard. They're thrown in some supporting standards as well, but pretty much all of them hit on the critical standard. So it's just gonna make more sense for me to go through one through eight. There's eight lessons in this one. Um, the first lesson is a supporting standard, but like if they don't know what a ratio is, then they're not, because it's understanding ratio. If they don't know what a ratio is, then they're not gonna be able to do anything else. So I will just move straight through the book with this one. Let's see, how many days do I have? So they're gonna be done on Friday. They're gonna be ready on, so I have until the 16th. So five, 10, 15, oh, I already lost count. Five, 10, 15, Okay, so I have 25 days from start to test. Um, so that means I need one test day. So I have 24 days. I need at least one study guide day. So I'm down to 23 days maximum that I can use for planning and for teaching. So 23 days and eight lessons. So that's averaging about four days per lesson. So that's a, actually a lot of time. So we can technically skip lesson one. I'll make lesson one a very brief overview. This is a ratio, but one, two, three. Oh, I need a math probe day too. They need a quiz day. So I'm down 22 days. And then I might need an extra day just in case. So I'm down 21 days now. Okay, 21 days and technically seven lessons. So three, I get three days a lesson for this. Okay, three days per lesson, cool. So, three days for this, three days per lesson, I'm gonna write that down. Three days per lesson. So now I need to figure out how I wanna do this. I think with their book, oops, I didn't mean to open that. I think in their book, I can make it so that they have, cause I told them to take their books home, but I think I can assign lessons in the interactive version. Let me see, module one, understand. But let me actually see if I can do that. This is where I'm getting stuck. Okay, so I think if I'm gonna take three days for each lesson. I can do one whole group day, one small group day, don't have enough time. Okay, so I'm still thinking about this, but I just found that on our, on the online portion of the book, we can like add a bunch of different things. We can basically, what's in their book, we can add the lesson um, virtually. And so it can like create a slideshow or you can assign those sections online and it's interactive. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so for example, I could add all of these things and all of this is literally in their workbook, but I can um, assign it to them. So like if they were, if I were to assign this to them, okay, I'm assuming that this is what it would look like, I have no idea, but it walks them through the example and then they can just keep clicking through, they can read it, go through it, all that kind of stuff. Okay. until they get through here. 
So that's the learn part. So that's like them learning the lesson. Then they can, I can also assign the example that's in the book. But for this, again, it's interactive. Oops, I went all the way through. It's interactive, okay? So they get the problem. It's moving them through the problem. But now here they can interact with it. So like, I had already done this. That's why it's showing. I don't think it's gonna let me do it. But they basically like can have drop down menus. And then if they get it wrong, it has two X's or one X or whatever. And then they can change it and check their answer again and get it right. And they can keep doing that. And then here is a check problem. So it's like another example. So they can start it, it's one question, and then submit it and then move on. And they have it for all of the sections in the lesson. What it could do is I could have one whole group day where we like intro the lesson. So we do the whole lesson together, just differently than like how the book is gonna explain it. Then the second day, they could just come in there, come in and instead of like them rotating through lesson or through rotations, they would have like, I've seen a lot of people use M-A-T-H. So like M is me, the teacher, A is at your seat, T is technology and H is hands on. So I could just have all that stuff ready for them for the second and third day that we're gonna be in that lesson. So A, at your seat, I could have them be doing a worksheet and the worksheet is what I'm taking for a grade. That could be like their exit. So instead of doing an exit ticket, the worksheet is what I'm taking for a grade. T is technology. So they're on the lesson doing the in the book lesson interactively with the lesson. H is hands-on, so I could have a physical hands-on like activity for them to be doing to just reinforce the concept. And they could start at whichever one they want, or they would start at A, right? Or no. I would probably have them start on, I would probably change it. I would probably have the first thing that they do be online, then they do the hands-on, then they do the assignment that's due. That just makes more sense to me, I think. So I might have to figure out another way for that acronym to do. Um, but then they could work through it at their own pace. So like my kids that are like, boom, I got that done. Boom, I got that done. Boom, I got that done. Like, that's fine. Or kids that work a little bit slower, they have two days to get through all four of the things. And then I could just be over at my small group table pulling small groups this whole time and just working one-on-one -on -one with kids and kind of getting my own like feel for how everybody is doing in class and then at the end of the third day they turn in their work for the day or their work for the lesson and then we move on that's kind of what I'm thinking I have to go pick up my kids from lunch but I'm going to think about that a little bit more and then I'll catch you guys on my prep I forgot that I have a donut. A student gave me this yesterday and I totally forgot about it. I was gonna eat it for my breakfast this morning. It's a Long's donut. If you're from Indy or you've been to Indy, you know about Long's donuts. The white box, they're Long's. While I'm going through, I'm gonna be writing down basically like what I'm thinking. They need to know a ratio definition. They need part to part. Okay, so I'm currently editing this portion of the video and it's a little bit confusing because I was trying to think about what I was trying to say to you guys as I was trying to think about how I'm going to plan this out. So I ended up deleting that clip and I'm just going to show you guys what I was actually doing. So the last clip you just saw was me like going through and I'm writing down on this page and I have my college prep like teacher uh, book out. So what I was doing was I went through the lesson, the first lesson, so 1.1, and I called it the intro day. I'm actually making this a whole like lesson day itself. So it's no longer just like a 
quick brief little thing but I just pulled I went through the entire lesson and I looked for like the bolded words so like vocab or like the main ideas of each lesson so ratio definition they need to know that and then the other things in the book and talk about what a ratio is but then they do a part to part and a part to whole ratio and then that's the whole lesson so the whole 1.1 1 .1 is what is a ratio part to part ratios and part to whole ratios and so then they just need a, an example of each so they need like the definition of part to part and part to whole and then an example of how you do each of these things so the that's the notes so i'm doing all of this so that i can figure out what needs to go in my notes what needs to go in my practice all that kind of stuff so then that's whole group day. So my whole group days are going to be notes days with practice. And then the other two days in my three days that I get for each lesson are going to be math days. So math days, um, I kind of switched up the acronym, what most people do. So math days is meet with the teacher. So I have a work, I'll have a worksheet at my small group table, practicing the skills of that lesson that we did the day before. So in this case, it's 1.1. Then after they meet with me or before they meet with me, like basically it's rotations, but it's going to be guided release. So A, at your seat. So the online lesson that I showed you guys where I can assign like the interactive thing, they're going to be doing that. T is try it out. So a hands-on activity. And then H is a handout. So this is the graded practice page that they're going to turn in for me after they've already had three different opportunities to learn and practice the skill then they're gonna get the thing that I'm grading. So for M, I'm trying to do like a manipulatives based worksheet. So something that I can have on my small group table that they're using manipulatives on. Um, they either have a worksheet or a whiteboard, anything like that. A, the online lessons. So all of the learns and then an example of each of the learns. The learns are like part to part, part to whole. It's like the book's version of teaching them that. And then T, I'm doing task cards for my um, college prep this year, or this this year. This unit, they're doing task cards. So the um, try it out, the hands-on activity is task cards and a recording sheet. And they can turn to the recording sheet to get feedback, but it's not for a grade. It's just to like let them know like, hey, you're doing a good job, or hey, check these type of a thing. And then the handout, the graded practice, I'm going to have no more than four questions. I just picked four one, because I don't think that I need a full like 12 uh, assignments for them to show me that they've mastered the 1.1 skill. And also we do standards based grading and we grade on the skill from zero to four. So I just picked four because it would be easier for me to grade and faster for me to grade. And it's a lot more um, understandable for what the kid does. So like if they know that, oh, I missed one, that's why I got a three. Oh, I missed all four of them that's why I got a one or I didn't do it. That's why I got a zero, something like that. And then this is just because I needed to know the dimensions for my task cards. So I went ahead and I did that for all of them. So then I flipped through the book in 1.2 and then I did the lesson title and then each of the things that they learn in the book for that lesson. So I did that with all of them. Now, I wrote down here that I'm skipping one, four, one, five, and one, eight. The reason why I'm skipping one four comparing ratios because they don't need a whole like notes lesson on how to compare those. This is something that I can just kind of like throw in to each of the lessons. Okay, well, which one's greater or how do we compare these two ratios? They don't need a whole note section on that. So I went ahead and skipped that. Solving ratio problems is like the word problems. It's like the summation of all of these four together. This like sums it all up where they're using all three of these skills. They don't need a whole extra like note stay on that. This is just like extra practice, which they're gonna get through the first three lessons that I'm doing. 1.6 and 1.7 starts to talk about rates. So these are their own things. So again, I went through the book and I've picked out the things that they need to know for those lessons and when I created my notes over this kind of stuff, um, which I'll show you guys the notes next week and next week's vlog, because I worked on all of those, um, these are all the things that are in the notes and the examples of these are in the notes, all that kind of stuff. 1.8 is very similar to 1.5. It's the summation of 1.6 and 1.7. So I didn't need a whole extra notes today for this. They'll get the 
summation type of lessons at the end of the unit. So that is how I did college prep. And then I did the same thing for my honors. Honors, however, ignore this because I didn't end up doing this. Honors, however, I have less time. So what I actually did, so I went through and um, did the same thing for honors. What's the lesson title? What do they need to know for each lesson? Um, and then the math days are the same as college prep, except for I ended up making the um, you try the hands-on activity a roll and solve instead of task cards, which again, I'll show you guys in next week's vlog. But um, I ended up combining some of these as well because percent of change is its own, but sales tax and tips, you find those two things the exact same way. So I just combined them together to make it one day. Discounts is its own day. Interest is its own day. Commission is the same thing as finding sales tax and tips. So I just skipped commissions altogether. And then percent of error is not on their test and I don't have that many days. So I'm skipping percent of error. I can try and hit it like as a quick like mini lesson or I can show them a video on how to find percent of error just so that they know what it is, but it's not gonna be on their test. It's not a critical standard, so they don't need to know it. So really I only have um, four, so I have one, two, three, four lessons for college prep, um, but I have a week less than I, or for honors, but I have a week less than I do for college prep. So I just wanted to kind of show you exactly what I was doing because I didn't actually show you guys this. Um, in the vlog when I'm at school. So I wanted to show you guys and kind of explain what I was doing because I wasn't making any sense. So, yeah. Okay, so it is 5.06 right now. I had a snack. Um, we had a little like meal that we could eat. Um, so I had a snack, which is good because I didn't eat my lunch today. I had, um, my friends were in here and we were just kind of like talking for a little while, but um, I just got my slides together for back to school night. So I've got about 15 minutes before I'm going to have parents in here with me. So I actually need to write down, I need to look at the schedule. I think I'm going to have parents every eight minutes. But now I don't know. I went ahead and made some slides that is going to go over like basically everything that was in my syllabus because I made a syllabus and I sent that home and a lot of parents signed and returned it this year which is great um so they already like had that and they turned it in already to me so they kind of already know um and I already introduced myself on there so I just kind of make like a quick slide that just kind of goes over that again um but I just went through and sprayed down my desk with Lysol um, and so it smells good in here because of that. And then I just turn my diffuser on so that it can at least like smell kind of nice in here. Um, rather than like middle schooler, which is what I'm used to smelling. Um, so I've got like another, let's see, they come in here at 5.30. It's 5.08 right now. So I'm going to finish planning a little bit. For, for I um, honors class because I didn't get to do that. I'm gonna finish planning and then I need to run to the restroom. And then we're gonna have back to school night. I'm kind of nervous. I've never had a real back to school night before in person because I'm a COVID teacher and we've always done this virtually. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so today is Friday um, and I got ice cream. Apparently it's National Ice Cream Day and my principal is rolling around giving ice cream to a bunch of people, um, to like all the teachers and stuff. So I'm super excited, but I don't have a spoon. I don't think I have any silverware in here yet. Normally I keep um, silverware, but I don't know. Oh, I might have some in here. Yes, I do. Okay, well, we're gonna eat it with a knife. But a knife is better than nothing. Today is going pretty well. Um, they are just all taking their tests today. So my honors kids are taking their tests today and so are my college prep kids. And I'm definitely gonna eat this first because it's gonna melt. So I'm gonna eat this before I eat my lunch. Yep, because it's already like half melted. Um, 
So yeah, it's a pretty easy day for me. I love test days. <laughs> While they are testing, I am getting stuff ready for the next unit. So I showed you guys a couple days ago how I was going through and just like looking through each unit and seeing like what needs to be pulled from each unit. And I did bring my personal laptop to make all this stuff, but it's really hard to do without a mouse and everything like that. And I don't feel like taking my mouse and putting it in there. So what I'm doing is I'm just making the outline for all of it in a Google Doc. So I've already got, um, I had already had three of the lessons already typed up for the notes because um, I started working on this before. <coughs> I just got one of the task cards done. I need to make task cards for two other things and a handout for two of the other things. I just remembered that. But right now I have 1.6. Um, everything that I'm going to do in their notes, like literally everything that's going to be in their notes. That way I can just like copy it and reformat it into my no note guided notes format. And then I went through and made my task card problems already. And I have, um, I'm working on the handout right now. So that way, hopefully when this weekend, probably tomorrow, I can just go through and just like copy and paste stuff into my PowerPoint and into the actual document that I'm gonna use during class. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I'm doing today. Um, tonight, I have to go to the high school football game because my girls are cheering the for, with the high school cheerleaders for the first half of the game. So I have to go do that. Yeah, other than that, It's a pretty easy day. Okay, I'm covering my shirt because I'm in my coach's shirt. Um, it is way after the day today, but I wanted to go ahead and close out the video. Ended up being a pretty good day, and I just got a couple of classes tests already graded, and I'm just working on finishing those um, resources that I started working on. Um, I really just have to do honors and then the task cards and handouts for two of the lessons for college prep, but you guys will see all that in next week's vlog. So that was it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. But she's somebody else in the making first. She's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll